This is a gift. We should take it to the Temple of Poseidon. I think we should burn it. I'm not a horse, I'm a monkey. <laughs> a likely story. I suppose you sing too. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this is just a quick uh, follow-up video in regards to uh, the channel Star Wars Theory. Um, I know in my previous video I had Star, I said Star Wars Fan Theory. Um, cause I, and I only meant that out of respect because I know he's a fan, he's a big fan. Um, but the name of the channel is actually Star Wars Theory. Um, and that's why, one of the many reasons why I had a, uh, a screenshot of his uh, channel logo. So that way it was clear what I was actually, uh, what and who I was actually referring to. But anyway, um, he has uh, another video up in regards to uh, the copyright claim being taken down. Apparently... Uh, this copyright uh, strike has been done by Warner Chapel, uh, who's the music producer, or whatever. And uh, I think it was he was saying that Lucasfilm got in touch with them and told them to withdraw the claim. So there's no ads being run on the Vader fan film now, and that's good. It's a win. Um, there's only two problems uh, with this that I see. The old saying, don't look, a, don't look a gift horse in the mouth comes to mind. Now for those of you, uh, it's, been, it's an old saying, <laughs> so I realize that some of you may not, may not have heard that before. So let me explain what that refers to. It's in regards to the Trojan horse. And when that Trojan horse that was received as a gift was brought into the, the gates of the city at night, all the enemy soldiers came out the mouth and practically killed just about everyone there uh, in the city. So that's what it refers to. And what I'm basically saying is problem number one, money was already made off of the Vader fan film. Now, are they not going to claim the money um, or are they going to keep it because it's they've already made money to cover the cost of solo or are they going to give it to Star Wars theory I don't I don't know um, I was looking to see if there was an answer to that um, I know the guy at Star Wars uh, theory wants to let it go and I and I get it I understand why he's saying that he wants to just move on but, and that's good, I think he should move on and continue with the positive, uh, um, the positive content that he releases. For the rest of us, though, I think we need to be mindful exactly of possibly the real reason why they did this. And that's the save face, especially with episode 9, because they stood to lose a lot more money off of that. <clears throat> so I don't think... If it wasn't for this backlash against Disney and Lucasfilm, I don't think they would have done it. I don't think they would have retracted that claim. <clears throat> so those are the two, two problems that I see. Is One, I question on whether this was out of good intentions or just to save uh, face and public relations and to save themselves from future sales. Uh, the loss of future sales. And also the question is in regards to the money that was already made from the advertisers. So maybe maybe they don't earn that right away. Maybe maybe it takes them so many days before they can claim it. So they may just they may not claim it. I don't know. But anyway, 
that's it. That's all I wanted to say on this. Uh, I'm not taking down the other video because I want to leave it up for historical purposes. Um, but I did want to put out this uh, follow-up video just to explain that the copyright strike is now down. They're not claiming it and there's no ads on it. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll stay tuned to this channel for more rambling on my Chef Rambles series. Thanks for watching and take care.